Hi, this is coffee artist Ella Hipolito, and we're making a tutorial on how to paint realistic lips. We will use a masking fluid for areas that we want to leave unpainted, but make sure it's completely dry before you start painting. I don't normally wet my paper thoroughly, but I'm trying it this time and see what happens. This is why I prefer watercolor paper over non-watercolor ones. It is more versatile. I'll start with a light coffee wash for the skin tone. Let's paint the lips on. As you notice, the paint is bleeding because my paper is still wet. Honestly, I'm too excited to finish this one. Well, I should have waited for it to dry a little before proceeding. Let's now separate the lips from teeth. I'm working on the filtrum now and the areas around it while waiting for my lips to dry. Now this is the fun part, the adding of detail through shading. Shading is the most crucial step in monochromatic painting or drawing. In order to make your flat painting come to life like a 3D object, you must give your subject a good shading. In this case, we're considering each curve of the lips to make it look as realistic as possible. We'll go dark on the concave part of the upper lip. This part has to appear as if it is indented. I'm also making series of lines and creases. If you look closely in the mirror, you'll see that our lips are not really as smooth as when you look at it from afar. I'm darkening dented areas of this lips while keeping the protruded part light. Same rule applies to the lower lip. Darker on the bottom and the dented part. I'm running my brush along sharp shades or edges that I want to smoothen out to make it appear as natural as possible. Darker on the bottom and on dented parts. I'm running my brush along sharp shades or edges that I want to smoothen out to make it appear as natural as possible.
I'm adding a shadow here since I want to create an illusion of this area being overshadowed by the upper lip. Again, I'm adding lines and creases like what we did on the upper lip. Upper lip is always darker than the lower lip, so I'm darkening it some more. Because of the shadow, your pearly white must not appear white on painting. We have to leave white only for the gloss spot. This area here is the darkest. To achieve this very dark tone, I recommend you use coffee gel like what you see I used on this tutorial. I make this by combining instant coffee and moisture. I let pure instant coffee out overnight without the lid on, and you'll be able to get this coffee gel. If it doesn't get to this consistency overnight, you may leave it on for another day, again without the lid. Or you may add a little water if you wish to use it outright. You must be wondering why at some point, your coffee painting doesn't come out this dark. One factor to consider is the manner of dipping your brush onto your coffee. You see, when you dip your brush and stroke your coffee gel vigorously in order to get more coffee, you are including air which eventually creates froth. We don't want that because it gives a milky or cloudy appearance to your coffee. Going back to our painting, those spots that remain white are those which I applied masking fluid onto. It resists the coffee paint. Later, when we're almost done, we'll remove it using eraser. You may use your fingers too. I want to project how to lift so I'll go darker on this area.
We don't want sharp edges as much as possible, so I'm smoothening them out. Once you are done with the painting and it is completely dry, we can remove the masking fluid using an eraser. For final touches, I am painting very light washes over small white spots, then let the others stay white. This would make a good contrast. And this is a realistic lips painting. All for now, this has been Coffee Artist Ella Hipolito. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.